Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Ultima 6, the False Prophet PC version. I'm your host, Laura Fenton. In part 27 of Ultima 6, the False Prophet walkthrough video, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our magic, find Nicodermus to get those Yuans, and finally, the Wisp. Yeah, we're going to find that Wisp. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic Mario games just like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated more. In the last episode, we went to the Shrine of Honesty, cleansed that, all shrines are done, I have all eight moonstones. Now this video, we're getting some magic. So before we do all that, what we're going to go ahead and do is show you what I did in between episodes. So what I uh, did was some leveling, yeah, I did some cap leveling, mainly Dupree and Shimino. So Dupree, I have not only strength, but also dexterity at 30, you'll see in a few seconds. Now in uh, Ultima 6, when you get your party members like that, this is very good. You can only focus on either one stat to cap out or uh, two. You can't focus all three because you didn't transfer them from another game. Nope. So uh, the priest capped in that department. So let's uh, show you that. Yeah, see my main character, I just transferred from five to six. That's a bonus there. So I'm all capped. The priest captain levels. Shimino's captain levels, unfortunately, since uh, he took some spirituality levels. Yeah, his strength will be staying at 28, but his dexterity is great. Now, next two is a little lower in uh, Blaine next time. Now, in order to uh, get to Moon Glow via Orb of the Moon, what you're going to need to do is go up to, and then once you get to Britain, you go left to. That's the same way as you go uh, left to, to New Magentia, and then up to the Moon Glow. Yeah, you're going to need to get to the corner of the Orb of the Moon, so you just remember to make it easier up to left to. And that's how you get to Moon Glow. So let's go there now. Let's bust out that uh, Orb of the Moons. Yeah, one of the best items in the entire game, everyone. Yeah, we avoid the Moon Gates that way. Unless it's the recent Ultima Online where, uh, yeah, you could just select your uh, destination. That's it. So up to, then after you get to the top, go left to, you should arrive there. Reason why I'm going there is the Lyserium. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get two tasks right away. I'm gonna repeat some of the conversations again, some parts of it, at least. So we're gonna get uh, going once we arrive. Then we'll just go straight north, follow the path. Now uh, to get the Lyserium, just follow the path north. That's it. Very simple. In fact, uh, you should uh, definitely uh, learn this a few times because eventually you'll return to the Lyserium once or twice again later on in the game. Now, I'm not going to talk to Mariah again due to the fact that I want to save her for another uh, quest. Yeah, it'll make it easier for me to uh, remember that. I'm going to go ahead and have that fireball wand ready so this way I can just uh, use it against foes. Yeah, I'll be a little bit lazy on that and so uh, just keep on following the path. If you see some snakes and uh, I should say definitely mice fight, you're uh, in the right direction. I'm not going to kill them because we could evade the snakes much more easier than the mice or a uh, mouse. Yeah, I don't want to fight the Miles because I might accidentally hit Sherry. So, just keep on going on the path. Now, the first guy we're going to visit is Conan the Librarian. Well, that's not his name. That's uh, Thaland. I might mispronounce it, but we're going to call him Conan the Librarian because that's what he looks like exactly. So, we're going to go ahead and go see Conan. You're going to say, that's not the right character name, but once you get a look at the guy and the Lyceum is a library, you know... Uh, <laughs> the reason why I call it that. Plus, it's a reference to the movie UHF. For those of you who have not seen it, it's a very good and uh, fun uh, We're Al Yankovic movie to me. So, we'll just uh, enter the room. Now, uh, this guy, during his lunch break, should be sitting next to Mariah, which is a uh, very uh, good thing. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go in the room. We're not going to disable the field yet. That's down the library. That'll be for another uh, time. You need to do next is go south in this room. You see the holy brazier. That means you're very close. That's the object that was very useful in the last game. We'll leave it at that, everyone. So we'll go in the western room. He's sitting next to Mariah. We'll talk to her another time. And let's see here. Let's go far. So this way we get out of here after we talk to him. There he is. Told you he looks like a Conan the Librarian. Well, somewhat. Let's talk about Blue Star. All the students of Nicodemus bear this sign. Good to know. Let's talk about Nicodemus. And uh, there. 
He lives southeast of you, my favorite stomping grounds, you. Somebody there should be able to give you directions. Bye, and thanks for your uh, help. Now, uh, we're going to Zio next, and uh, we're going to talk about the Circle of Magic, or say spells, and type the number 8 in. We'll get denied, but I'll explain uh, why. In order to get to Zio, the one of the very powerful spellcasters in the game that sells you some very good spells, all you need to do is just follow the pathway that will definitely lead you northwest part of town, or say more like the Lyserium. Yeah, just uh, keep on following the pathway. Very simple, very easy. I'm only going to go ahead and show you once in this video because we eventually will uh, come back. I'm going to save some uh, time on it because it's just a, basically the same thing. Once you uh, definitely get the uh, next task done. Yeah, we're going to knock out some tasks in this video, mainly uh, two big ones, I think, for uh, spell casting. So, let's uh, follow that pathway. It looks like it's a long pathway, but it is really uh, not. So, we'll uh, get there. Once we are there, we're going to just go ahead and talk to her about spells. And then uh, type the number 8. Yeah, if you hadn't already, you should got yourself the disabled field spell. Really useful. Very great. Now, if you got all 8 shrines, you did get the uh, disabled field spell because you couldn't do anything without them. In fact, you're going to need that spell, though, because Nicodemus' house, there's a certain section you got to get rid of some of the fields. We have finally arrived, so let's go ahead and uh, talk to Zio again. I'll repeat some of the stuff she says. So first of all, we're going to type in word spell, or spells. We'll type the number eight. Thou art not yet ready for such knowledge. Okay. Seek out and speak with the wits and learn their secrets. Good to know. Then wilt thou out be prepared to enter the eight circle. Wisps, let's talk about that. Uh, their secret is far more powerful than anything I might teach thee. All right, let's talk about powerful. There. Truly, it would be terrible if the wrong person were to learn it. Uh, I'll explain about that towards the end. Only we of the Council of Wizards know the secret. But since thou art the Avatar, surely it would be safe for thee to learn it as well. Thank you for the information. So our next stop is you. Yep, that's right. The City of Justice. That place. My favorite stomping grounds from Ultima 3. Now, in order to get to you, all you need to do is go right to, and that's it. That's simple. Just right to, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and do that at this uh, time. Next destination is you, so we're going to have to look for while we're in uh, you. Either uh, Jana or the leader. Yeah, Lenora. That one. That one looks like she has a strict look on her uh, face. She wants to arrest me for anything if I do something wrong. Probably heard about the history of you, about some uh, stranger slaughtering priests like crazy. Yeah, it was me. Just watch the Ultima 3 series on uh, Why Is That. So, we have finally arrived. Alright, everyone, here's the uh, deal. We're gonna get information. Like so far, we're gonna look for A, Jana. Or uh, B, definitely uh, look for Lenora. So I'm going to go with Jonna first because I trust her more. And she knows the place. She'll actually point you in the right direction. Let's see if she's there. And she is uh, not. Okay, that is really weird. That's the uh, bartender lady. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, definitely uh, look for Lenora. And there she is. So let's go ahead and speak with her. And uh, she'll give me information about Nicodemus. And yeah, it's not too hard. You, you'll uh, see in a few moments. And how's it going? Uh, Nicodemus. Nicodemus, the enchanter, lives near here. His house lies between two rivers. Basically, everybody in you will definitely say that. Bye, and thank you for your help. Yeah, you've been really helpful. Now, let's just go ahead and uh, leave. I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip a few. I'm, I got lost. Yeah, do not go south. All you're going to hit is nothing but you would. Yeah, the big giant trees. Not like the really giant ones you see in Ultima Online, but still. We're going to go towards the uh, path that leads us, you uh, guessed it, to the Shrine of Justice. Now, uh, from the Shrine of Justice path, we're going to just keep on going straight forward until we veer off. Now, uh, that's the gypsies. They are here. This is a uh, very good sign indeed. Uh, there you go. See, there's one of the gypsies. So hopefully, we'll have to visit them uh, once or uh, twice more. 
I rather uh, prefer to visit them in Britain since they're easy to get to, so... Make sure you go on the pathway that'll lead you to the Shrine of Justice. Just keep on following it until I tell you not to. And then from here on out, there's an easy way uh, to actually get to Nicodemus. So, we'll just go a little bit north, a little bit off the path. And there's the uh, path there itself. Now, uh, coming up, there'll be some trolls. Now, uh, trolls, they have some very good items. Mainly, I think it's uh, swords, um, if I remember correctly. Also, spears, sometimes they will uh, sell. I mean, half, sorry, not sell. They have a lot of throwing axes, though. Very useless. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is kill some trolls. I will uh, return when they're all dead. did it so uh once you clear the bridge sometimes the bridge is not clear still follow the path until i say otherwise 
At some point, you're going to veer off the path. Once you do, you're going to simply go south, like at this uh, time. Now, from being off the path, away from the Shrine of Justice, we're going to go south. We're just going to keep on going south, and um, we're going to look for the river. So we'll probably have to go around the trees. Yeah, the big old yew trees. They're really uh, big. Uh, again, Ultima Online. Oh, they do it justice, all right. If I think I remember right, you have to have over a uh, hundred lumberjacking or something like that in order to get some wood from them. Yeah, it's like that. I have a crafter, and one day I'll give him that, and then I'll get some yew tree and stuff like that. So uh, just follow the trees around. Just uh, go south until you see the river. Yeah, I'm just giving you some uh, exact directions. Make it easier for you. Now, like I said before, if you try to go south in you, you get stopped by the yew tree wall. This bypasses that, by the way. So, we'll just uh, keep on going. Listen to some uh, good music in the uh, background. Yeah, that's the uh, town music, which I do uh, love. Okay, we hit the river. Uh, after that, follow the river west until you see an opening. Now, uh, the maps uh, will th think it's not an opening. But in-game map, it will show you a big opening. That's a huge difference. Good idea if you're really lost in directions to uh, get some gemstones. Uh, those are usually uh, dropped by the uh, foes underneath the uh, castle Britannia. Yeah, that castle. So, we'll uh, follow the pathway, and I'm going to try to make sure I do this all right. If I look like I'm stumbling a bit, I'm just trying to make sure I'm uh, doing everything correctly. This one's uh, very easy to do. Now, I am not sure if I have to visit him again. If so, we'll uh, definitely uh, take this path once again. This is a, a very easy path. Unfortunately, this is not like uh, Ultima Online or uh, even the Ladder Ma Might Magic series, excluding 9, where you uh, mark a certain point and then you can go back to it later on. No, it's not like that. Definitely not like 5, where you uh, leave a Moonstone, you could definitely uh, go there. Yeah, that's right, folks. That's how it is. So, uh, let's use the uh, gem. Well, I'm not going to use the gem of immortality. That was destroyed a long time ago. Okay, yeah, you see that path, you can barely see it, that's west, that's look like it's a cutoff from the river. That's where you want to uh, go south and then go around it. Yeah, just loop around the river. So, just keep on going west until you see that opening, you'll know when you uh, definitely see it. Now, it's uh, not too hard, it's uh, really easy. I mean, I thought this would be a very challenge to uh, get the Nicodemus, but once I found out, <laughs> it's not the, that hard. That's why I love the uh, world in this game. It's uh, so great, so easy to interact. Okay, yeah, see this is the part we could walk on. After that, walk around like I am. Now uh, go east next. Now uh, we'll just go east from here on out. You'll see a building. Very simple, very easy. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. Unfortunately, it's about to be night, so I'm going to have to rush. I don't want to camp at all. So I'm going to try to get there before a certain time because Nicodemus will close his shop up and go to sleep. I really don't want to do that. Yeah, I started this during midday. Probably should have started in the morning, but Zio, uh, our shop's open midday, so <laughs> you kind of screw there, if you know what I mean. There's the building. So our next thing we're going to do is uh, get everybody uh, inside a building. Unfortunately, we're going to need is unlock magic. Yeah, we're going to definitely cast that first. You're going to need that unlock magic from Horus. So uh, first thing you're going to do is uh, definitely uh, cast that, hit the door, and boom, there you uh, go. Now, you need to disable field next. Once you uh, be able to open the door, you'll uh, see why. Okay, it says what. And now uh, we're going to disable uh, two fields. So uh, this way, in case our party members decide to get cheeky and uh, go for the fire ones. We're going to make sure uh, that doesn't happen. Uh, there you go. Field's gone. And oh yeah, you got to make sure you're really in front of it. You can't go diagonal. The game doesn't like that for some weird reason. Watch, it's going to go like this. Failed. See, it just hits the wall. Now, we'll uh, do it that. After that, once we're done, we'll speak with Nicodemus. He is still awake, so uh, this is good news. We're going to get some spells from him and use staffs as uh, well. And what lot? We did it. Now, let's go ahead and talk to the man himself. We all earned that, right? And uh, how's it going? You see a wise and old man with a ready smile. He looks like it's serious business. That's not a smile. Seriously, look at him. Good evening, Avatar. For what purpose hast thou come? What's your name? I am Nicodemus. That's good. What's your job? I Why? Bless me, I work here. I sell reagents, teach spells, and craft magic staffs. Good to know. 
especially on all three. I also do a little experimenting. Oh yeah, reagents are a decent price, but use the one in uh, Scar Brain uh, Co. Trust me. Oh, experiment. Oh, nothing a great adventure such as yourself will be interested in. Let's talk about interested. All right. He gets a suspicious look in his eyes. Don't be too nosy, Sonny. All right. He just uh, knocked us off on that. Staffs. Yes, I make magical you staffs. Um, if thou knowest the enchant spell, those can lock a spell within a staff for quick use. Ten charges. I think it's five ten charges. A used staff costs 100 uh, gold pieces, but it's worth twice that. Oh, yes, it is. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go ahead and get a few. And then we'll get some spells, and that's it. So while I'm doing that, uh, oh, yeah, let's get the spells. Okay, that's Detect Trap. Um, uh, let's go ahead to two. And, uh, okay, we'll uh, do that. Let's see here. Three. I could have got Protection and Repel Undead, but we really don't need them. I could bash the, uh, their heads in like crazy. So I'll pass on those. Uh, let's see here. Four. Conjure. Uh, that's a summon. I don't need that. Insect Swarm. I'm not sure about that. Six. Uh, charm. I probably should have got that or confused. Mass Protection. That is a good one to uh, get. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I got web by mistake. Oops. Yeah, uh, I'll uh, go back off screen. Enchant. You want to get enchant. This is important. Buy it for 140 pieces of gold. Okay, cannot learn any uh, Circle 8 spells. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get some more staffs. So here's the deal about that. So if you use the enchant spell, and then you pick the spell, you uh, put it into the staff itself. It has five to eight charges. Instead of casting one spell you like you normally do, you have five chances, or at least that's the lowest, or ten for uh, that spell. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that this time after I put the uh, spells in the book. Still, they are really uh, worth it. Off screen, I probably in the future will get a few more and put a few more spells into it. I'll have to probably get different bags for it. Bad news is it doesn't tell you unless you have a certain spe uh, spell to uh, tell you what that staff is. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and cast your 7th circle uh, spell enchant. Let's go ahead and select that. There you all go. And uh, enchant the staff you want. Pick that staff, so select it. Now, pick the spell you want to uh, put into it. We're gonna put resurrect in at this uh, very uh, time. So, we have a staff now that has 5 to 10 charges of resurrect. So, I say resurrection, but you get the point. So, that revive spells in there, and boom. So, uh, we'll. We have a staff now that could uh, definitely uh, do that until it goes uh, bye bye. I decided to put my reagent bag so I know where it's at. Definitely keep your staff separate in different categories. I'm not going to do the other two yet because I want to get one more spell put on that staff and I'm going to put the kill spell in the other one. So we're going to go ahead at this uh, time, use the light spell. I'm going to get back to uh, you and uh, we're going uh, to go on our next destination. You uh, guessed it. It's going towards Empath Abbey. That's where the whistle is at. So let's go ahead and do it. And uh, that is, if I remember correctly, in order to uh, get to you, that is right two. Yeah. Use the uh, timestamps for uh, how to get to you again. See, right two and uh, boom. That's how you uh, get to it. So what we're going to go ahead and uh, do is go on in. Once everybody's in the portal, except for uh, Katrina. Yeah, we're going to leave you behind, Katrina. Hurry up. She'll be there anyways, but still. It's kind of funny. You look like you're leaving her behind, but you're really uh, not. Still, it's a fun game like that. All right. We'll wait a few more. She's confused. Look at her going back and forth. You can make a YouTube short out of that. We have finally arrived at you, so we're going to take the path to Empath Abbey, but we're really not going there. Now, from uh, you, you go towards the path that leads to Empath Abbey. That's west. We're not going to go to Abbey... You'll uh, definitely see why, but still, it's really easy to find. At the time, I thought I could do this at night. I think you might be able to do it in the uh, day, but for caution, uh, when the sun's about to go down, you do it at uh, night. Now, the wisp itself, uh, on a path when you see it, it looks like it's a uh, perfect blue. It's not too dark or not too light at all, so uh, definitely remember uh, that. Uh, War of the Thumb, as always in Ultima 6, you see, look icon, inspect anything. If it has a uh, talking icon on it when you speak with a person, that means it's friendly. If it doesn't, it wants to kill you. Yeah, just remember that. Or better yet, if it hits you, you hit them back. 
Uh, just trust me on uh, that. So let's uh, keep on uh, going, and I will definitely find it. Now, just keep on uh, going. You'll uh, find it. So once we find it, I'll talk to it. I'm going to go ahead and X out any of the uh, fail responses. So if you fail a few responses, don't panic at all. You just keep on going to the right phrases I uh, said. I'll explain about that when we uh, get to that phrase. But for now, let's go ahead and talk to this little uh, fella. Oh, wow. You survived EverQuest. That's uh, good. Let's try it. There we go. You see a strange glowing ball of energy. Yeah, in EverQuest in 1999, they used to hunt him down for a uh, light source. Again, you of this plane address I of the Zornite dimension. Oh, you sound really important. Good to know. All right, let's keep on going. But what name do you wish to be addressed at this time? Fenton. Very well, Fenton. Do you have memory of previous discussions with myself? This is my first time. So be it, I must often repeat information when conversing with the life of Britannia, it seems. Yeah, you must be in uh, other games. I do not see how each unit of life here can have different memories, different desires, but again, I inform. Yeah, we're different. And it says, I'm, uh, I inform Britannia that it is not so in my realm. Yeah, there must be all the same. Uh, those which uh, you uh, know as Wisps in Britannia are rejections of the life of Zornia. All right. This is getting weird. Let's keep on uh, going. I extend into many planes besides this one. Oh, good. You're a plane traveler. That could be good or bad. Britannia communicates with me very seldom and is known by those of very few other planes. Every time I speak with Britannia, it seems I must explain my nature again as I uh, have just done. Get used to it. That is very strange. Yes, it is. So I typed the wrong word in, which I thought uh, circle, and uh, it tells me it's vague, doesn't know. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, skip all the other options and type the word secret. Type secret in. So there you go. Because of the nature of Britannian memory, I now present the sample of information to... All right. You again. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about that. The wisp pulsates fading from blue to white, then uh, back to blue again. All right. That's interesting. As it does, a uh, scroll materialize in your hand. Oh, wow. That is a good trick. This is a uh, simple invocation of magic energy to bring about the cessation of all life. It is not a very useful or a powerful form of magic as it will only uh, affect beings in the same plane where it is invoked. Oh boy. We'll explain about that. Okay. I'll let it go. Inform any WIS uh, unit if you have interest in further exchange. So let's type interest. This will start another uh, quest. There you go. If you uh, present a reasonable uh, dense information source to a WIS unit, arrangements will be made to... All right, let's see what it says. To uh, transfer some uh, suitable, uh, suitable uh, valuable commodity into Britannia possession. So we give the WIS something, and the WIS will give us something like monetary in return. I uh, find it unusual that uh, you find it so important to me, to inform me of uh, the imminent cessation of uh, proximity between one unit of Britannia life and one of Zornite. By the way, we learned the Armageddon spell. Do not use it at all. This will break your game. You only have uh, you only want access to it, but that's about it. So I'll skip to uh, the Lyserium. So after I rested, wait for day, wait for, of course, uh, Z uh, Zyle to wake up, I finally arrived. So yeah, the Armageddon spell is a big no-no. You have to just uh, learn it, and that's about it. Once you learn that, Zyle knows that, and you'll uh, definitely be able to have uh, access to the Ape Circle spells. You'll see why. So once again, do not cast the spell. Everybody dies, you break the game. Except for Lord Brish. So we'll type 8 in. You get Death Wind, Eclipse, Mass Charm, Mass Kill, Slime, Summon, Time Stop, and let's see which one's the last one. Tremor! I'm only going to get probably Death Wind, Mass Kill, and uh, Tremor, and that's about it. Time Stop's a little bit useless in this game. So we'll uh, get that one. That's number 4. Let's go ahead and do that again. That was Mass Kill. And now uh, let's see which one I'm going to go ahead and get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Tremor. That's good. And I'm going to do it uh, one more time. I'm going to get Deathwind. I'll probably end it there. So uh, there you uh, go. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of the shop. 
Okay, those are still useless. Wizard Eye, I think that's a uh, mapping spell. I'm not certain. And uh, we are uh, done. So what we're going to go ahead and uh, do is now store uh, two more spells into the uh, staffs. One is going to be Tremor and the other one's going to be Regular Kill. I don't want to do Mass Kill because sometimes your party members get near, of course, uh, uh, enemies and they might get hit with it. Yeah, it's a 5x5 five five, uh, radius uh, spell, just like the Kill spell. But it's AoE. Tremor, on the other hand, affects all enemies only and that's it. So uh, you definitely want to do is once again, for those who are uh, just coming in, shame on you, but that's all right, is uh, just go into your spell book, cast enchant that you got from Nicodemus. You should have got that there. And there's the Armageddon spell. Do not cast that. The other four below it, you could cast, especially resurrect. So see, mass kill, we're going to need a lot of reagents there. But it will take out many enemies around uh, the target, including the target itself. So let's go ahead and cast enchant. Now we're going to pick the U staff we're going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do is the kill spell. Voila! We just have a kill spell staff that is 7 to 8 charges. Now it's going to go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, voila! Now what we're going to do is another staff instead of the... we do is tremor. So yeah, we're going to put tremor in the staff. So we have 5 to 10 charges on that too. And uh, we're going to move uh, the uh, tremor staff into the other bag the middle bag there you go we'll leave that one out there in case I have to kill some tough foes I might have to do another staff that is a uh, more uh, direct damage or a uh, very powerful spell that will annihilate enemies that is not a kill spell but foes can't resist it so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, get back to the castle once I'm at the castle I'll do a recap for the video so we have access to the eighth circle spell we buy Nicodemus spell now we can buy you staffs too to uh, put more spells into that I call that a uh, very successful uh, day. Yep, that's right, folks. We're really powerful. And yeah, once again, do not cast the arm again and spell. It'll break your game. Yeah, it's there for you to learn. That's it. Not to use. Uh, how's it going? I just got the arm again and spell. Let's get healed up. And uh, there you uh, go. So let's go ahead and recap this uh, video. Now, first thing I did was I went to Lyserium, talked to uh, Conan the Librarian, point me to you. For Nicodemus, as for Zio, I had to prove myself by learning the Armageddon spell. So, uh, in you, uh, I talked to everybody, I was pointing to the uh, two rivers, found Nicodemus that was on the way, by way to the Shrine of Justice. You just go uh, south from a certain point. You get to him, got some use staffs, learned some magic from him, found the wisp that was, I say, west of you, learned the Armageddon spell, do not use. Then I talked to Zala and I said, I learned the Armageddon spell, sell me some magic. She sold me some 8 circle magic. In the next Ultimate 6, the False Prophet PC walkthrough video, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, Chuckles Demented quest. Yeah, it's really demented. This is it for my Ultimate 6, the False Prophet PC walkthrough video, part 27. Nicodemus, the Wits, and 8 circle magic video. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. I'll go ahead and eat this delicious mutton.